Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Walsworth and Esmeralda. We are doing our first live tarot reading here since we have moved into the Emerald Frog and we are with Abigail. Abigail, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And uh, what deck did she pick out, my dear? Well, Abigail was drawn to the Sacred Traveler deck. So as is customary when our clients come in, we have them go over to the table and peruse the decks and see which deck it is that calls out to them. Excellent. And it was the Sacred Traveler that called out to Abigail. Excellent. So we shall see what the cards hold for her. Oh, I like that. Let us see. Now, with these, typically, it works in different ways for different people. So, depending on your energy when you walk through the door, depending on what is felt. Sometimes you pull the cards, sometimes I pull the cards, sometimes I hold the cards for you to pull. These want your energy. Natural. <laughs> so let us see. You can shuffle them to your heart's content. Do you have a particular query? Well, because I'm new around these parts, um, maybe just about new career ventures or success in those career ventures. Something, something to do with work. Okay. Well, let us see. I just hope you're going to be rich and have lots of abundance. I hope so. That would be nice. Let us see what the gods have to say about your little cards here. It's not the size of the card, it's how you read it. <laughs> Let us see, yeah. Uh... So when I look at these from this direction... This, because it is upside down to me, almost reminds me of food. Mm. And while it is a sword and a stone, it reminds me of a toothpick. That you would pick up a little piece of fruit or something at a party mm. and hold it while you eat it. So that looks like the fruit of your labor. Mm. And you are holding it. Those little confectionery delights, those. What I picture when I look at that is a little. I want to say plum pudding, but that is clearly not plum pudding. But a little delicacy, like a little orange delicacy of sorts, mm -hmm. that are like dripping with honey. With the little, that little toothpick to keep your little fingers dry. <laughs> so I look at that and I think the fruits of your labor. Like it has been a long road to get here, <laughs> but you are finally. You've put your little toothpick in and you are ready to eat that fruit of your labor. This card always strikes me as different. Mm. For to me, she looks very pregnant. Mm. And that is not what it is if you look closely at the card. She is not, in fact, pregnant. She's reading. She's reading. But yet, there is something about it, and actually looking at it from this position, that just looks like a green mountain in the background. Mm. And she is almost inconsequential here against the tree. And yet there is this greenery that grows 
and that comes almost out of nowhere and it's just growing. Mm -hmm. So if I look at that in, your, in answer to your question, and especially because I am looking at it from here, from this vantage point, there's the fire of creation, mm -hmm. and there is this green mountain that comes seemingly out of nowhere. For if you look at it, it does look like it is coming out of the desert with the colors. And then finding sanctuary. The fog is lifting. There's something there with the point of that towel. There's a light that is around the tower. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at it from your vantage point, typically the left of the card is the past. And as you go on to the future, the future is much brighter than the past. Mm -hmm. And there's this cloud that is moving aside to reveal the color and the beauty of the glory there. So looking at them, if I look at them from my end, the smoke is clearing, there is a fire ablaze that is creating these new worlds. Mm. And then there you are at the end. With your sweets upon a stick. Mm. And then my eye is now drawn to the little bird and the three little leaves. Mm -hmm. Which is freedom. The birds are singing. There are the leaves growing, there are the three leaves. And we have the three graces, the three muses, the three possibilities, three roads. Mm -hmm. And yet they are all leading to that beautiful sweetness that is contained. I wish I knew what those little things were called. I can see them in my mind's eye. <laughs> Makes me think of a chocolate dip. One of those fondue pots, yeah. right? I feel like that's Something what you're like describing. That, I picture it as orange, hmm. which again, you know, you have those orange here, and orange is that life force, hmm. and just that vitality. Hmm. And you are here in this new place with really just a hope and a dream, yeah. and yet looking at these cards you have this greenness coming presumably out of nothing mm. and then it's like the whole world here is in your hand and you have that ability to just pick it out and pluck it out <laughs> and do with it really what you please well there is a path that is very clear and looking again from my end, it looks like the ocean coming in. Mm. And it looks like you are standing on the she seashore with that big prize that you have accomplished. You've cleared the fog, you've created this new world, and now you are enjoying the fruits of your labor. Mm. So I would say that is good signs. It made me feel very nice, that's for sure. I say take us with you, sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. I do feel like there's one more. Hmm? Yeah, Something yeah. else to be hmm? said? There is. Hmm? Very scared, which is First light, beginning of the cycle. Mm. And again. Orange. 
Not only the orange. Oh my god. <laughs> Come see. <laughs> now we have to take a look. What do we have here? Yeah. We have almost precisely. Yeah. Oh yeah, the oranges. The bird's nest. Have, right, we have the little nest here, which was the eggs. Yep. And then in this one, we have the little bird with the three same little leaves here. Mm -hmm. That is cool. It is almost precisely the same exact photo. Just a different season. Just a different <laughs> season. We still wow. have the go golden orange orb. We yeah. still have the golden orange orb here, which now is even more pronounced. Wow. And perhaps these are the eggs from that little bird, for you can see the lightness. This one's a little darker. And then it all comes into focus. That brightness of the world mm -hmm. is now upon you. And you have even more bounty. Wow. Mm -hmm. I do like that a lot for you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot. And I love how the cards are so similar. I know. I always love when that happens. But it's, it's wonderful to hear because... This is such a new chapter, and it is almost starting a completely new cycle from not much. So to see the similarities and to see kind of coming out of the clouds and starting toward the sun, mm -hmm. that feels good. <laughs> right? That feels great. And then this is glorious sunshine yeah. with yeah. so many different possibilities. And it's like all season, all year, it's going to be... Yes. going to be good. Oh! <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love it. No, I like that a lot for you, actually. Thank you. Thank you for pulling an extra card. Yes, I felt like there was something else. Something and else I just, used to be said. Yeah. And I just, I love how those two work mm -hmm. so beautifully together. Oh, wow. You plucked it, and look at what what you have created, what you are creating, what your energy here That's in this world, in this state. I'm trying. It's not easy all the time. I'm trying. It is not. But keeping your thoughts positive mm -hmm. and letting those fires of creation build mountains out of nothing. For right now, you are really, truly starting with nothing other than a hope and a dream yeah. that you can make Rhode Island your home and prosper in what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And looking at these cards, I would say that, indeed, you are on the right path. Good. All right, ladies. I'd like to say thank you for doing this video with us. It was fantastic. And you can find us on Wadsworth and Esmeralda. And... You can review your future a few years down the road and be like, they were spot on. <laughs> we like being spot on. Right? Have a good night. Thank you. Bye.